Hey guys, Fundamental Basics here. Um, Alright, so today I'm looking at how to restore old Pokemon games. Uh, so just before I get into pulling apart the game, I thought I might show you this Game Boy I got when I was 10 for Christmas and uh, so it's really old, pretty broken. Um, on this side the spring's fallen out and I just sort of put some tin foil in there and um, it works fine so if your spring ever breaks you can put a little bit of foil in there and oh, this bit's broken too so I just got a little bit of blue tack and um, just stick that in there and you know it's fine alright so I don't know how well this is gonna appear on the GoPro screen but the biggest problem with the second generation Pokemon games is that after about six years the internal battery dies because it's got to keep ticking to keep the time because these generation games they all have day and night cycles which <laughs> runs the battery down stupidly quick all right so to fix it what you need is if you're doing it for the first time you'll need like a flat screwdriver or something to break the brackets inside the case I'll show you more about that in a sec uh, one of these little bits um, they've come down in price in a, just like heaps in recent years uh, they used to be quite expensive but now they're about two dollars on eBay and uh, watch battery, you can pick these up from Coles or Woolies for about three or four dollars. And you need the what's that? CR two O three two battery. That will do just fine. You can go for a smaller one, and that will fit in there a little bit better. But this one has slightly better life. So I'm just going to unscrew this now. And. Uh, Get that screw out of there. Mm. It's been quite reluctant to come out. Alright. So once you get that off, just slide the top bit uh, down. And as you can see, I've already done this once before and it's expired again. Um, and I've just put a little bit of electrical tape down to keep that in place. So underneath you can see the top bracket going up from underneath. And the bottom bracket is coming down from the top. Alright, so you'll need to break these very, very carefully when you go to do this for the first time. Alright, you need them still soldered to the actual... Uh, game itself, but you'll need to break the solder to the battery. You need to do that very, very gently. Alright, so you just sit that down on the bottom bracket and then with a bit of tape, just make sure that it's sturdy and that it won't move, like that the, it won't uh, lose contact with the brackets, otherwise you'll lose your game data. So, just get that down nice and firmly. And, just whack that back on top. Slide it in there. Brand new battery. And that should last me for six or seven years. You want to get that in nice and tight so that your battery doesn't move around within the cartridge. <clears throat> and we'll check if it works. Looking good. Alright, so there you go. That is how to fix a second generation Pokemon game. Thanks for watching.